हेलो एवरीवन आई एम गौरव मोटवानी फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज अजमेर आई एम स्टूडेंट ऑफ एट सेम कंप्यूटर साइंस आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय सेमिनार दिस सेमिनार प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन फेस रिकॉग्निशन टेक्नोलॉजी आई वेलकम ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स एंड फैकल्टी टू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू माई मैंटर मिस्टर दिनेश खुंटेटा सर हु हैज मोटिवेटेड मी and helped me to work in this technology and i am obliged to mr lavender singh sir who has guided me for this presentation now i will come to my presentation this is face recognition technology in this we will talk about introduction of biometrics introduction of face recognition implementation of face recognition advantages disadvantages application of face recognition and conclusion first is biometrics a biometrics is a unique measurable characteristics of a human being that can be used to automatically recognize an individual or verify an individual identity so by biometrics we can identify a human identity easily Biometrics are of many types like finger scan, facial recognition, iris scan, retina scan, hand scan, voice scan, signature scan, keystroke scan. So these all are biometrics from which we identify an per a person. Now face recognition. The face is an important part of a person's identity because face is most unique characteristics in every person while humans have the ability to recognize between other humans they can recognize it easily using face for face recognition there are two types of experiment the first is verification and the second is identification facial recognition is a form of computer vision that uses face to attempt to identify a person or verify a person's claim identity so it means it will first verify you and then it will identify you it is two basic comparison of face recognition like we are seeing in this picture first it will verify you and then it will identify you this is a example of face recognition system how it works it will find big of various features on face it will find various features on your face and according to this it will recognize you all identification technologies operate using the following four stages first is capture second is extraction third is comparison and last match or not match it means first it will capture your image then in extraction it will extract the inform important features of your face and it will remove the noise so it will give higher accuracy third is comparison in this it will compare stored image and capture image and at last match or not match by comparison it will give the result of match or not match so face recognition technology analyze the unique shape pattern and positioning of the facial features face recognition is a very complex technology and is largely software based so it is mainly software based technology implementation of face recognition technology in this we will see the implementation of face recognition technology it includes four stages data acquisition input processing face image classification and decision making data acquisition the input can be recorded video of the speaker or a still image a sample of a 1 second duration consists of a 25 frame video sequence so the in data acquisition it will capture your image it will capture using video or any image or we can send image directly now second step is 
input processing. In this, a pre-processing module locates the eye positioning and takes care of surrounding, lighting condition and color variance. In particular, the mouth is subjected to fundamental changes but is also very important source for discriminating faces. So in this step, the pre-processing part is concluded. So it will remove the, all the noises in the image and extract the important features. Now how face recognition system work? Facial recognition system work by a particular software. There are about 80 nodal points on a human face by which we can tell the difference of human to human. Here are few no nodal points that are measured by the software. Distance between the eyes like every human have some different distance. Width of the nose like some have small nose and some have large nose. Depth of the eye socket, cheekbones, jawline, chin. There are various features in the human face that are different from each other. So by this, the face recognition system identify and verify a person's identity. The software, like I have, we have seen this, this is mainly software based technology. So in this, we will see how software is work. Facial recognition software falls into a larger group of technologies known as biometrics. Here is the basic process that is used by the system to capture and compare images. Like we seen that there is two important options, capture, first is of capture and second is compare. So for this, first it will detection, second is alignment, third is normalization, fourth is representation and fifth is matching. So these five steps will be done in software part. So we have seen the advanced software of facial recognition system and understand how it works. Now we will come to advantages. There are many benefits to face recognition systems such as its convenience and social acceptability. It is very convenient and acceptable by all. Face recognition is easy to use and in many cases can be performed without a person even knowing. No, knowing. Because it is very easy to use because if government is using face recognition, they have all the images, all the data of persons and they can use by camera like CCTV cameras. So you are not knowing that facial recognition system is working on you, but it will help government to identify person's identity to report the crime if crime is happening. It is a, so this is very big advantage. Face recognition is also one of the most inexpensive biometric in the market. So it is also useful because of in it is very inexpensive. Disadvantages. Everything have disadvantages and disadvantages also. Face recognition system has a one disadvantage that it cannot tell the difference between identical twin. If you have a brother or sister who are exactly like you, then it will confuse the face recognition system. Application The natural use of face recognition technology is the replacement of PIN, physical tokens or identification scheme like we are using from many years like PIN and other password like number or key password. It is, we want to replace this techno by face recognition technology. So this is its main application. There are numerous applications for face recognition technology. In government use, it government can be used it for law enforcement, security, counter-terrorism, immigration. Like in today, there is a pandemic, coronavirus is happening. So many developed countries like South Korea, Russia are using face recognition technology to control it. For this, they have deployed the CCTV cameras in various cities and whenever a person who is in quarantine come out, a alert to government will be given by this system. So it is very helpful to control the situation. So these are the uses in government sector of face recognition system. 
like we seeing in this picture it will identify you and verify you and it is also used in reporting the crime in commercial use in commercial use facial recognition system is used in daycare residential security voter verification banking using atm etc conclusion face recognition system have been associated generally with very costly top secure application certain applications of face recognition technology are now cost effective reliable and highly accurate as a result there are no technological or financial barrier for stepping from the pilot project of wider spread deployment so this is my presentation about face recognition system if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you